Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Capri, for those of you that don't know me, but for those of you that do, welcome back to my channel. Well, so, I moved. This is my bathroom. Um, I just basically wanted to talk to you guys about life, my updates with life, um, and da -da 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 -da. you know, just like real talk about social media and stuff like that. Um, while I do my makeup for my nephew's Sweet 16 party that I'm late to, so if I'm not looking at the cameras because I'm doing the makeup in the mirror and I'm rushing because I'm going to get some food, but for starters, I am April, May, June, July, August, April, May, yeah, June, July, August, April, May, I'm five months post -op for my surgery at Julie's post -op. I had got a BBL with Dr. Cariaga. Cariga, Cariga, whatever. However you pronounce it. Um, BBL, fat transfer, all that good stuff. Currently, I just rescheduled my second round. Let me see how much I weigh. I'm only 162 pounds and I just started taking a pediment again Monday. So I'm pretty sure I gained weight. So I probably was like one freaking 55. I have been losing a lot of weight, but I am going to try to get up to 180 for my second round, which is booked for January, like around my birthday. Um, round two, I'm going to a door plastic surgery with Dr. I don't want no negative comments, so if you are anti-surgery, anti-whatever, go on about your business, sweetie, because this ain't the place for it. Um, But yeah, I'm getting round two BBL, and I'm also getting my boobs done. All at the same time, with McAdoo at a door. So I'm looking forward to that. And anything else? That basically is it. So I'm just getting weight to get my round two. I like my body. I think my body is cute, but I always wanted to get my boobs done. And I feel like Kariaga, Kariga, he didn't take enough fat out. Like, even after my surgery, I noticed I still had, like, a lot of fat in my back, which I thought was swelling at that point, but it's, it wasn't. The body that I had when I came off the table is the same body that I have now. I'm going to be like, oh, trust the process. Wait. He did a good job. He did a good job for what he did, but... I just want more done. So I'm getting more done. And, you know, I should be happy by then. Um, what else is an update? So I like my body. I think my body's really cute. If you follow me on Instagram, I am Capri. Then you can see, like, what I look like on a regular basis because I actually been posting it a lot more lately. My body is cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's naturally cute. But I told my wanted to look like a video vixen and that's what I'm going for. So if it takes two rounds, then so be it. I don't think I can handle a third round, but I said that about my second one and I'm still going. So I don't know. But if it takes two rounds, then so be it. I'm not going to drag it because it's like, whatever, I'm about to be 30, so who cares? As long as I don't got a kangaroo pouch and these flanks in the back of my back, I'm okay with that. Other than that, what else I want to talk about? I want to talk about, so this is a message for everybody that wants to be like a beauty influencer, Instagram famous, Instagram model, anything that involves you being lit on social media. Like, I'm going to just give you... A few of my own personal experiences when it comes to social media like I love social media but I hate it at the same time like social media has brought a lot of opportunities to me especially having like a little following you know you get a lot of opportunities brands want to work with you so that puts more money in your pocket more exposure to your page this I need a new one um, brands want to work you, with you so it brings more exposure to your page which ultimately puts more money in your pocket if you play 
your cards right, it should be doing that anyway. Which I feel like is the whole purpose behind social media. What do you want social media for? Especially Instagram, if it's not to promote business, work with your business, be your own brand, make money. Like, what you clowning around for if you're not getting no bread off of it? That's just how I feel personally. But, so yeah, Instagram can bring a lot of following, a lot of money, ah, ah, ah. But at the same time, it brings a lot of negativity, a lot of drama. I wouldn't say drama because I don't really have drama, especially not on social media. A lot of um, haters, for sure. Haters, for sure. And it's just like, you really have to be mentally... I can't say mentally stable because I don't think I'm mentally stable. But you have to be mentally strong to deal with what comes with Instagram, you know what I mean? Like... You really can't be a weak-minded ass person and then think you about to hop on Instagram or become lit and be on Instagram reading all these negative ass comments and messages because you're you're gonna you're gonna like lose your mind trying to deal with that. You have to really be mentally built for it. And me, I'm just like I'm a person like I've been through enough. I feel like I am able to deal with a lot. So I thought, right? But I feel like I'd be able to deal with a lot. And even every now and again, it just, it still bothers me. Instagram still bothers me every now and again. It's just like, what the freak? Just imagine just minding your business. You're not worried about nobody. You're not thinking about nobody else. You're just scrolling, trying to, maybe you're just looking at freaking now, like I watch if you go through like so say you're on Instagram if you click like the search button at the bottom everything that you be browsing pops up so when I click it it just be nothing but hair videos makeup videos nail videos that's all that you would see in my like my browser imagine you're doing that and then regardless to what people say because I say to people also I'm like oh I didn't get your message I didn't see your message it's a lie my phone's in my hand 24 7 even when I get message requests on Instagram, on Facebook, I get the notification. So imagine you just browsing, you get the notification like you have a new message from user one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You open it and this random person is just calling you out your name, disrespecting you, threatening your life. Like I get so many hate, I can't say I get so many, like I don't get more hate messages than I get regular messages like I get a lot of love on Instagram. Obviously, like you're cute, you're gonna get a lot of love. But at the same time, you're gonna get a lot of haters, like especially undercovers. These are they're never gonna get somebody from their real page, and if it is, it's probably like a, a private account that got like a hundred followers, two posts. Like it's never gonna be nobody that you know. It's always gonna be somebody hiding behind a fake account. But I get messages like. I get a message from somebody and then I'm just going through my message request. It's so many messages from people with these fake pages like, oh, you don't even deserve to live. You need to go hang yourself. Your life is useless. You're a whore. Your daughter's going to grow and be just like just all this weird stuff from people that don't even know me in real life. Like, this is why I say you have to be mentally built for this. Like, yeah, it looked good from the outside and like, oh, you lit on Instagram. You got mad followers. You got mad brands trying to work with you. You got it and out. And I also got mad haters that's telling me my life is useless and I don't deserve to live and I don't love myself and God don't love me and my family don't like all all these weird messages. And it's not like it just happens every now and again. I get messages like this all the time from Facebook to people inboxing me on Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter, like Snapchat. Because I have public accounts, which I be thinking about. Like, maybe I should just make my pages private. But brands don't want to work with nobody who got a private page. Who cares about how many followers you got? We want people to see our shit. But it just be so strange. People are really feeling like haters. Which I know is common, but to deal with it in everyday life, it be overwhelming. Like sometimes I just like, you know what? I don't have time for this. I'll just turn my phone off for the day. I don't have time for this. I don't. No, like, nobody wants to hear that. I got to deal with being judged by my own family. You think I want to get on social media, 
minding my own business because I don't bother nobody. Minding my own business and then random ass strangers is just telling you how much your life is just like worthless and how much they hate you. Like, why do you hate me, bro? What did I do to you? I don't see how I could have done anything to anybody when you don't even know me in real life. You probably live in Missouri somewhere. You never even seen me in real life. Don't even really know what I look like outside of Instagram and filters. Like, you know what I mean? It just be too much. But sometimes you just gotta put your big girl pants on and play. It's okay. You're just a hater. That's what we say at least. But deep down, that shit bothers people. I see a lot of people who got following, a lot of people who have followings from beauty gurus to fashion gurus to Instagram models to music artists to anybody, anybody, people that play tennis and be having 100,000K, like 100K followers on Instagram, Twitter, all that. You will go through their comments, you will see a bunch of nonsense like, who are you? And why are you telling this person to go hate themselves? People are just rude, like very rude. Very, very rude. And it's fine. I don't even think I'm going to wear lashes today. I love the way this natural piece looks without lashes. It got hot here. That's why I had this door open. But yeah, people are really haters. Social media can be your best friend and your worst enemy at the same time. It's like a, a first cousin. Either y'all gonna have a good bond or y'all gonna always bump heads. So if this is something that you want to pursue, basically you can't be no woman's help. Cannot be no weak ass hoe trying to get on Instagram and hate you. I don't care if you got a hundred followers on Instagram. If you a weak ass hoe, a bitch gonna try you and you gonna be like, oh my god, she called me a whore. How dare you? Like I, I witnessed it. Like if you're not mentally built for it. You gonna lose your mind. I've seen it firsthand. I have friends that get on Instagram and be like, oh my god, it's the end of the world. This person called me this. And me, I'm a person, even when I'm mad, bro, you're never gonna know you got me tight. I'm gonna ignore you for one. Like, I don't, I'm not about to argue with no fake page. The most I'm gonna do is screenshot it and probably post you on my snap. Like, look at this shit. More weirdos, because that's all you really are is a weirdo. If it's a real account, I might tell you about yourself and your mama. But it, it'll never be nobody I know because I'm really not that mentally stable. I will beat you up and won't give a fuck about it. So my makeup is done. <coughs> Whew, I'm about to go find something to wear. I'm going to do like a apartment show and tell I guess like whatever yes I'm gonna show you guys about my new apartment this is my bathroom it's not really done yet but this is my bathroom for now my makeup is very cute oh before I get off of this my client gave me a little order her brand is pucker up very cute she gave me a business card. Pucker Up LLC, online cosmetic store. PuckerUpLipgloss.com. Very cute, right? If I was wearing lashes today, I would wear some of the lashes she gave me. This is her little brand. It's so freaking cute. That's makeup on my hand. These are some of the lashes. These right here is my favorite lashes of all time, so I'm so happy she gave me a new pair. Because I have been cycling the Lord that I have. Because I have ordered like a whole freaking stock of them. She gave me, I'm going to bring this out tonight, my clear lip gloss. This 
this is a lip scrub which i love if you don't use lip scrubs oh my god you're gonna need them so just imagine like you know sometimes like when we don't moisturize our lips they get like pilly pilly like sometimes you can, like peel the skin off of them because your lips are used to being dry and you might have moisturized them today or whatever if you put a lip scrub on your lip and you like it takes all of that dead skin off and you're supposed to be feeling so smooth and then right after that you just throw like a carmex or a blistex on girl save your life if you know me you know i'm obsessed with pins i still pins from bangs and everything like if it has a logo she gave me a little pucker up pin and it's pink i love that bitch dripping i'm gonna put this one on side Sorry guys, somebody was calling me. I can't get it in. And don't look at my nose. My nose is a mess. I have not been able to go through my nose yet. That's fire. What else do I have? Okay, and this. This is a mirror. I believe it's like this. Oh, a little too go. This is fire. I'm spending this inside my makeup bag because I do not have a mirror in here. If you need one. Oh, girl. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it. Oh, I have a new makeup bag. There's nothing in it but the stuff that I just used. This is what I use on a daily basis. Um, so this is a makeup look. I'm gonna go get dressed. I'll post some pictures on Instagram, Snapchat, of course, because I love Snap. And if you guys, any have well, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Obviously, I get all my messages. Peace out, y'all. Moral of the story: If you want to get into like beauty guru instagram famous everybody wants to be instagram famous if you choose to be instagram famous i recommend that you do it to you know bring income what are we what are we clowning around the line for if we're not getting paid for it you get me um so yeah if you choose to be like a beauty influencer some type of instagram famous i don't care if you know music whatever it is be prepared to have haters sometimes haters come in the form of fake pages and it be the person that you are chilling with every day haters this is just this is just real life like sometimes your haters are like the people to you so be prepared for that don't get discouraged like i never want anybody to be like oh i'm discouraged i'm i'm dealing with it like you know life gives you lemons you make strawberry lemonade and throw a little shot of dahlia on there like it's just this is what we do but i am just expressing how it makes me feel sometimes my feelings are hurt sometimes it just makes me angry because it's like how dare you say these things about me or about my child? You don't know me from home wall and I don't know you, so I can't physically harm you. So it, it upsets me. Like, tell me who you are. Like, you know, tell me, tell me where you are, where you are, who you are, so I can stomp you out, literally. Because, you know, it's overwhelming, but, you know, it's life. People gonna be haters with all this. And other than that, I'm just living my best life. So, yeah, follow me on Instagram. I am Capri. It's the same name all around the world. But hope you guys have a blessed day and just appreciate the message. That's it. Bye guys.